Willie, it has been a very unusual preparation for Cheltenham this year. What does that mean for your team? It's very unusual. We really haven't had a winter. And um, so a lot of the horses that I'm bringing to Cheltenham, I didn't think we were going to, you know, would be in that position at, uh, last August, September, when we were bringing in our horses to run. Uh, it's been good ground all winter. We've only had, I think, softer heavy at four tracks uh, since last August. And um, it's been a different year, but you know, they, they, they're they probably good in the crop that they're in. Everyone has the same uh, difficulty and um, we are where we are. Now, in the four championship races at Cheltenham, the champion hurdle, the stayers hurdle, the champion chase and the gold cup, where do you think is your strongest hand? I think we have a very good chance in the gold cup. I think it's an open year, Bells Hill, Kenboy album and invitation. They have, um, especially Bells Hill and Kenboy, both have won grade one chases in Leopardstown in preparation and that's the sort of prep you, you need going to Cheltenham I think. So they will be your two first string in the Gold Cup? I think so yeah yeah what uh, Ken Boy did at Christmas was exceptional and I thought Bells Hill is improving all year uh, from you know from Pontchestown last year and then to come back to Pontchestown again this year and on to Leopardstown uh, it's just uh, the graph is going up, I think, with him. So I'm um, very, very happy with him going there. Now, he hasn't been very lucky in Cheltenham the last couple of years, but maybe this is the year he's going to change that. Moving back through your chases, um, under so is obviously a staple now at Cheltenham. Yes, and, um, you know, this year hasn't been his year with ground. Um, unfortunately, you know, he hasn't got the sort of the real ground real heavy ground that he wants and probably needs as he gets older but he still has the same enthusiasm that he always has in it's in particularly good form i think this week compared to any stage of the last two or three weeks um he just seems to be coming right at the right time again hopefully you mentioned horses that come into their own coming up into the build up to cheltenham Penn Hill's obviously one of them yes yeah he's um he's fine he was away can't, uh, doing a bit yesterday uh, so he's coming along nicely and um, uh, another one that we hope that we can get get him there you know but every day with him is uh, you're looking at him every morning to and uh, to, to make sure that he's all right so far so good so but he's going to have a few more searching bits of work between now and uh, Chatham. Melon looks good I'm very happy with him just we we're trying to figure out why he disappointed us the last time. We have our own reasons and uh, we'll try and change those for Cheltenham. Min can go champion chase or Ryanair and I'm going to leave that decision until much later. The same with Footpad, I think. He schooled very well the other day and probably schooled a bit more like the old Footpad from last year. Um, so hopefully that's a good sign that he's starting to find his his form. Well, the Gold Cup hasn't been terribly lucky for you either, so I hope this is your year as well. Hopefully, you know, but we, we've got a lot of prize money out of the Gold Cup, albeit not, not the winner, but um, hopefully we, we can maybe lay that one at some stage this year, maybe. Well, best of luck at Cheltenham. Thank you very much. Cheers.